We're celebrating the 25th anniversary of Magic Magazine, and Stan announced that after 300 issues, we're going to transition it into Magic Legacy, 25 issues, and then off into the sunset. Which leads to a question, why? Let's ask the man why. Hi, Stan. Uh, thank you. We know what. Yes, we but know we what. we all want to know why. Well, I have to tell you, Magic Magazine's been a part of my life longer than 25 years, you know. And it's part of our family. It wasn't a magazine we bought. It was a magazine we gave birth to. And those struggling years, yeah, we were up a lot of late nights with that baby. And uh, as I got into the point of saying, uh, maybe you know, it's time to start thinking about stepping down and moving over, I just never felt comfortable turning it over to somebody. Would they do it with all the insane attention to detail, right. <laughs> even with all the screw ups? You know, it's just my life is poured into it. My family's life is poured into it, and everything. And I just felt, no, I don't want to do that. I want to put it on the shelf. But I just couldn't put it on the shelf, bam, tomorrow. Right. So then we all sat around and we came up with this idea that, well, look, let's take 25 issues, do the things you've always wanted to do, do them right, take it to the next step, and then say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. At first glance, you would think, okay, retire in order to have a little space to breathe a little bit, and you'd think the legacy issues would, the process would give you a... A, a, a casual pace, but you're going to be doing 25 issues in 23 months. Yeah, I'm a genius. So it's almost like you have just shot yourself in the foot. You're going to be a busy man. Crank it up a little bit more. Uh, yes, but it's it's funny how the whole perception changes when you know you have 25 or something. When you're doing monthlies just forever, it's like this vast road going down the you know the highway there. No, now we know we've got 25, so we can start blocking. We already have. Mm -hmm. Well, where's the, what's the 25th issue? What is the 25th issue? Thanks. Anyway, the 25th issue is a big question mark up there, but it's great. As a matter of fact, yeah. it looks very yeah. similar to this, doesn't it? <laughs> it's to be announced. Yeah, I guess. Well, thank you. And this is not a coloring book. This is... <laughs> That's that, that's that double flip thing. I know, said. I yeah, can't yeah, find yeah. The, the, the short No, pages. no, 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 no. It, it's funny how when you start you start putting pieces together and say, oh, no, 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 we have to do this. We have to do this. And, you know, we don't have unlimited time to do it. Right. And for me, I've always worked on deadlines. Now I've got this enormous 25 deadline. I love it. I can't wait to jump back into it. We've got this little party we've got to finish up here. But so once this party is done, yes. I imagine you take a couple months vacation. A couple days? A couple days. Yeah. Monday, you hit the ground. Monday, right. you bet. Again. Now, is this magazine going to be, is it going to be, are you referring to it as a magazine or are you kind of trying to not use that phrase? No, I, I'm fine with that phrase. It's, it's a funny thing because this thing is going to be different and familiar all at the same time. You know, it, it's, uh, Gosh, it's gonna not it's not gonna be just like a magazine anymore. It's not gonna come out, you know, mm -hmm. once a month, boom, boom, boom. There's gonna be sporadic times. There's gonna be we actually have we're gonna do our first two parter. We've never done a two parter magazine yeah. before. And they're gonna come out like a week apart, maybe. Who knows? I mean that's the way this is gonna be. You're gonna go to your mailbox not expecting it. And there it is. So And what's the idea behind that? The the fact that you don't have a specific delivery date each month. What does that afford you? It's just, just it's, sort of surprise. Surprise, I think it's all about surprise. It also affords us, there will be certain times where we need more time to prepare this, to get it right. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is like publishing a book. You don't get to go back next month and fix the things in an errata. So much of this is uh, we're treating more like 25 individual things. Is this your farewell tour? Like shares fell, well, shares had many farewell tours. <laughs> But Stan gets one. I know. Is this uh, the I, victory lap? This, I don't know if it's a victory lap or a farewell tour. I don't look good in those gowns, by the way. I've tried. Um, but yeah, it is. It's kind of giving me an opportunity to do all the things I've wanted to do and more. And just do it in this concise kind of Now, the deal that people can get if they sign up here in Early Bird is, it seems like a suspiciously good deal. It, well, it is. First of all, these magazines are more expensive magazines. Yeah. They're, they're a little nice, they're a lot nicer. And the, some of the things we want to do with them, we know it's going to cost more. And so we've made a higher price on it. But also, I've got a family of people, supporters, that if, well, they've supported this magazine and Magic Live and our projects over the years. 
And I thought, you know what we should do? We should have a really good entrance into this and offer all of those people, and anybody who wants to come with us that maybe has never come with us before, this is an opportunity. And so we made it a screaming deal. So between now and September 31st, it's a screaming deal. And then between uh, all month of October, we've got a good deal. But then in November, we have to make a commitment to how many magazines we're going to publish for the whole set. Because I'm treating a lot of it like a set. Things build on top of each mm -hmm. other. So you can't jump in at the eighth one. It's just not going to work. There's no cherry picking well. the issues. It's it, all or nothing. It, it, it wouldn't be good. It won't be good. This is a. Uh, yeah, is it a magazine or is it a big fat book I've divided into 25 chapters? I'm not sure. You have to assemble all 25, they become a mosaic that That's directs it. you to some treasure in Vegas. Exactly. There um, you go. <laughs> what about, like, I met a 17 year old kid the other night mm -hmm. and he was a little bummed about the idea, the fear that maybe he'll never get to be on the cover of Magic Magazine, which is a bucket list item I know for me and others. and. And you. We've both been on the cover. We've both been on the cover, so. Oh, hey, we don't care now, right? You're right, why am I even asking? It's all good, buddy. No, I understand it. People put a lot of emphasis on the cover of the magazine, any magazine they do. And uh, I don't quite get it, but then I don't think about that stuff at mm -hmm. all when I'm in the business. But uh, I recognize it's important and to a lot of people it is that five minutes. And these next 25 covers, first of all, they're not going to be normal magic covers, as we know them. You know, profile picture, how right. I got started in magic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at the same time, we are going to tell stories. We're going to tell a lot of stories. And some of those stories aren't going to be about well-known magicians. And so, this 17-year-old might have a better shot than he thinks. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm curious, like, if, if somebody who used to subscribe to magic, mm -hmm and maybe kind of trailed off because they get the magic news they want online and the blogs and this and that. Sure. The immediacy is not something a magazine, magazine is there to provide anymore. I started in the news business right. with a newsletter and our magazine was very timely and newsy. But today, hey, I don't, I don't look to Time Magazine to see news. I look to Time Magazine to see a perspective on the news. Right. I've already seen the news on the internet. So the legacy issues will be more, I guess, evergreen-ish. It's a good so way to put it. What will they have that potentially those old subscribers would want to come back for? Well, I, I think we're, we're looking for relevant things, things that are important to the world of magic. And we've covered a lot of those things over the years, but we're in a new world now. We can take a story from 20 years ago, and now we have the internet, and we have all more sources, resources to tap. We're going to tap them all. So we're going to take important subjects and look at them again with all the resources that we have today. So I think these magazines are something we've always strived for, that you would leave our magazines sitting on your coffee table. You wouldn't be embarrassed about it. Right. But at the same time, when they're done, wait a minute, they still have great stuff in them, and they'll go up on the shelf. I know some people that have torn apart certain sections that they just love, and they see and watch, you know, they, they look at them all the time. I think these are going to be evergreen. Not Less like disposable. I think so. I think they're going to go on the shelf and they're going to be about that wide. Right. And it's going to... And no digital edition. No you can't, digital. You, can't you know what? I tried. Do this and I tried. It's just not me. Right. You know, it's just not me. And, uh, you know, I think digital is wonderful. But for me, print, tactile. you know, ink and paper. And uh, I'm going back 25 years to my roots. And that's why we're offering uh, Square One, the book. I have yes. This literally, literally is where it all began. Yes. This is. This, this is, is the thing. Square that one. I was worried in the very beginning. Will people go? You know, new magazines pop up all the time, and people don't trust them. Mm -hmm. And somebody said, "Well, give them a gift that even if you failed after the first issue, they would be happy <laughs> have with that. the gift." And Max Maven put this book together for us of people like James Steinmeier and, and and Michael Weber and Mike Caveney and, and Max himself and Tommy Wonder. And so what we did, we're going back to our roots. So we reprinted the book, and we're giving people that. Jump on board and trust us. A little welcome, welcome back party. My gift in their mailbox. My nice. gift, absolutely. So, so, have I convinced you? I'm convinced. Oh, good. I'm, 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 I'm just. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it's done. I mean, it feels. What are you gonna do when it's done? Well, I'm gonna continue to produce Magic Lives, and I have a few other things that I'd like to produce. Okay. That maybe yeah. you haven't been able to do because uh, of this, the monthly commitment. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. I'm looking forward to. That's it. exciting. Yeah, it's gonna Maybe be a fun. new magic magazine. I'm not. Uh, like, uh, I don't plan on going away. Not. What? I'm sorry. What did you say? You know, just a. 
2.0? No. No. And by the way, I don't recommend you let my wife hear you say that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't go there. Okay. Go yeah, ahead. no, the family's ready for me to stop being on deadline. I see. So you said you're you're excited to do some things that you have not been able to do with yes. the magazine. Yes, a lot. Like like what? One thing. One thing. Oh, you're killing me here. All right, how about this? It was about five or seven years ago, the idea came to us to do something. It was called the Da Vinci deck. Okay, I love this. And what it is, it's a deck of gaffed cards. And as a subscriber, you get this entire deck at one time. And then the tricks that are used, they come in the magazine over, well, the next 12 issues or more. And here's a really good twist. With the legacy, we're calling it the legacy deck. Mm -hmm. And the legacy deck, not every card in there already has a trick for it. So okay. we'll be getting our readers involved. Nice. This is their chance to get on board. And so you get this deck up top. You get the deck up top, and we have some great creative people that are contributing to it. But we've also thrown in some crazy cards. Go at it. Okay, great. Yeah, I like that. So there you it's go. It's kind of like your, a the, everyone is their own little beta tester. Yeah, yeah. Let's um, play. Let's have some fun. What? That's kind of a spoiler. But it's not. Now we all know. What's something that nobody knows yet? Like, what is one. Little spoiler, Something you're not gonna share a nugget anybody, that you right? that I won't tell anybody. Won't it's tell just anybody uh, to between the. Uh, it's just us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can't hear us. Uh, how do I say this one? Um, all right. Wouldn't it be great if you knew what the general public thought of magic and magicians? Would that be helpful to you? Kind of a scary idea, but I know. it would be helpful. You, you, you sort of want to know it's and you don't like want to know. You're kind of, I mean, sometimes magicians tend to maybe be in denial about what people really think, which sometimes, is not the best. Sometimes. That's, and, and that's clearly not the best way to uh, run, a, run, business. A, run a business or an industry. So what, or an art form. So what are you going to, how, how will you enlighten magicians as to what people think? Somebody, somebody very professionally has done this, and we've got the answers, and they'll be in the very first issue of Legacy. Are the results going to depress us? I gotta go now. Oh Thanks a lot, Justin. <laughs> as soon as I heard the the phrase, the legacy, as it's going on, it reminded me of this line in Hamilton, the musical, where he wait, says, "You've seen Hamilton." I've seen Hamilton. Ah, oh, I hate you. It's incredible. You'll you'll oh. love, you'll have time to see it now. Okay, go ahead. And he says, "What is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you never get to see." And I feel like, you know, by the end you'll have 300 plus 25 of these seeds that will outlive you. Uh -huh. And will inspire future generations, which is a which is a beautiful thing. Which leads me to know where do I sign up? <laughs> How do I give you my money? Yeah. <laughs> Small unmarked bills.